welcome back guys. Today we're going to be using some scrap timber to make some small crates for hampers. So I've cut the big 2x6 down into some manageable pieces. This is just a piece of scrap I had. Now I'm going to take off the edges and make them sort of square so that I can cut them on the mitre saw properly. So now we have this nice straight edge that we can use to square up the other edge and then we can do the two end pieces. So now I have those two edges done, I'm going to cut it down to size and we can start ripping it into strips. So the strips for this are going to be 1.5 centimetres thick, so I'll strip them down on the table saw and I should get enough out of this one piece for one set of sides. And then you just have to repeat the same process for your shorter side of the crate. So I just cut my first strip, really happy with the <coughs> thickness of it, it is pretty perfect. Uh, each one will get a sand over, so don't worry too much about the outside finish, but it's going to have a rustic feel, but just to take all the burrs off. So now all you have to do is repeat that for as many slats you need. So I have this 4x2, uh, just a scrap piece again, that I'm going to cut down into 1x1 one one sections for the corner posts of the crate. So I'm finished with all my cuts now. I've got four 36 centimetre long side pieces, four 29 centimetre pieces, five bottom pieces that are also 29 centimetres, and then I have four corner posts that are one inch by 13 centimetres. So two and a half centimetres by 13 centimetres up. So now all I've got is my 36 centimetre long piece and two corner posts and all I'm going to do is brad nail them in with a little dab of glue on them just some tight bond two and then I'll square it up and then I can put the bottom on now all you want to do right now is do one nail in the corner of each one because we want to square it up before we fix it together completely. Perfect. One side done then. Let's move that out of the way. That's one side done. And then you have the insides like that. So just repeat that for the other side and I'll do that really quickly. Now to do the side pieces. So this is just the same, just a dab of glue on each end. I've got them clamped to the table just for now. But you're pretty much just doing the same thing. So there you go, and then just repeat this on the opposing side, and then you'll have your crate, and then all you have to do is put the bottom on it. So here you have your crate with no bottom, but it does have four sides, and it's, it's pretty square to be honest. It, you, again, it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be square, it, it's, a, it's a rustic crate. But um, as I'm going to be using this as a sort of rustic hamper, I'm not going to put the base on yet, I'm actually going to put a fabric over the, the sides and uh, that will make it look a bit nicer so we'll get on with that but you can make this as many sort of sections up as you want make it as deep and as wide and you know, if you're just using this as a crate stick a bottom on it and then you're done but obviously as I'm using it as a hand part I'm gonna make it look a bit nicer on the inside so here I have my crate I just put like a, a white fabric 
and stapled it in around the edges at the bottom and that will just you know as I'm using it as a hamper that will that will keep the things from falling through the bottom. But all, all you've got to do now is simply get your five pieces and basically do the same as what you did with the side so glue and brad now and just get them as uh, equally divided as possible. So I just finished nailing on the base or the, or the bottom slats and uh, yeah it's done now you can paint it if you want but I want it to be like a, a rustic type of feel you know real, real wood feel but you could paint this white or black and like I said before you can make this as high and as wide as you want it's just all dependent on, on the side width but if you bought one long 6x2 you could make two of these maybe and if you went up higher obviously you might only get one or two but you could you know you could make an infinite number of these and just really repetitive process so you could knock out a few in one day um, this took me a bit longer because I had to sort of work out how to get the fabric in and, and that sort of stuff but uh, it's a really nice easy project to knock out in one one day thanks for watching this video uh, I want to give a quick shout out to the make something channel and uh, that's where I got the idea for this sort of slatted crate um, I bought the plans but obviously I've changed it his is a lot bigger uh, and it doesn't include the cloth but uh, go check out his video I'm going to leave a link to that down below and uh, yeah please subscribe to my channel and like this video